magnetism uh, three trial is a clinical trial that uh, is testing the use of a bispecific antibody or a T cell engager, namely l in those patients with relapse and refractory multiple myeloma. This is a very innovative form of immune therapy where the idea in these bispecific antibodies is to target two antigens. On one hand, the antibody will link to the T cells through an antigen called CD3. And on the other hand, it will link into a tumor antigen. And in this case, it is BCMA, the B cell maturation antigen. And uh, these T cell engages uh, are proving to be highly effective uh, because uh, they are leading to very impressive results, even in patients who failed, actually, who received and did not respond or progressed after the other classical treatments like proteasome inhibitors, uh, IMIDs, but also the monoclonal antibodies, anti-CD38 antibodies. When it comes to the efficacy of aranatamab, the results are quite amazing, actually, uh, because we're talking about patients who received a median of five prior lines of therapy, and despite such an advanced status, and despite the fact that a significant proportion of these patients were refractory, to the last line of therapy, actually you can expect an objective overall response more than 60%, including one third of complete remission. So really this is, I think, a practice changing breakthrough in the field. And obviously uh, now what we are presenting, uh, what we presented at this EHA meeting 2023 is the extended follow-up, the 15 months follow-up, confirming these efficacy results and the median progression-free survival and uh, is not yet reached, which further highlight uh, the crucial role of uh, uh, the bispecific antibodies, especially eranatamab, uh, in the field of relapse refractory multiple myeloma. Of course, the efficacy of uh, bispecific antibodies like eranatamab is great, but we need to be aware about the side effects and these side effects can be divided into three groups. Uh, two uh, groups are well known, well established, the CRS, the cytokine release syndrome, and the neurotoxicity. And the third part, the third the group of side effects are about the opportunistic infections. When it comes to CRS and neurotoxicity, actually the severe CRS or neurotoxicity is extremely low uh, in this magnetism 3 trial and probably it has to do with the uh, dosage but also to the ramp up uh, i would say uh, way of administration and it is definitely manageable and i don't think it is a matter of concern when it comes to infectious complications we do have complications related to COVID-19 infection, and hopefully uh, this uh, will progressively uh, decrease, but we do have also uh, some opportunistic uh, infections. And here I would like to emphasize the importance of prevention and prophylaxis measures, but also the close monitoring of the patient. Because if you monitor closely the patient for viruses like CNV, like EBV, like adenoviruses, 
Uh, if you monitor a patient for uh, aspergillosis, for instance, for toxoplasmosis, then you will be able to intervene very early and avoid serious uh, complications. Also, using prophylaxis like antibiotics, antiviral, antifungal is going to be extremely useful. And last but not least, an important piece of information in the data we presented at EHA is about when we switch to the uh, twice monthly schedule instead of every week, actually it looks like that we are decreasing the incidence of infections. So in another word, actually probably at some point, especially beyond six months in those responding patients, you can decrease the frequency of the treatment and this will improve, in my opinion, uh, the infectious uh, complications, but also uh, many centers are using also supplementation with IV immunoglobulins and this is, of course, extremely helpful. From a patient perspective, I think these results uh, that we have shown uh, with aranetamab, similar to other bispecific antibodies, uh, are providing a lot of hope because these agents, these bispecific antibodies, are capable to salvage patients who have no other resources, no other possibilities. So when you look into the immune therapy landscape of multiple myeloma, on the one hand, you have CAR T cells. On the other hand, you have uh, bispecific antibodies. But CAR T cells are not available everywhere, are not easily accessible, but also you need some bridging. On the other hand, bispecific antibodies are off the shelf, relatively easy to use with all the precautions and the prevention measures. And uh, for me, uh, they are really a breakthrough in the management of the patient. And actually the next step is when we will start using them earlier in the course of the disease, but also not as single agent, but also in combination with other agents. So it's a true, uh, I think, uh, practice uh, changing uh, family of new drugs. And I believe it's an amazing, great news for patients.